Tomorrow's winter system will hit while many in our area are still without power and, of course, cleaning up from Sunday's storm. Ross Plater continues our live team coverage from McLean. Ross, what is it like out there? Well, right now, Maureen, there are 13,800 homes in Northern Virginia without power, but that is down significantly from the 135,000 earlier at the start of the day. If you look just behind me here up the hill, some Dominion power crews are still at work trying to get power back on in this McLean neighborhood, but now it's a race against time for them. They're trying to stay ahead of that next round of storms. Utility poles snapped in two, wires down, debris is everywhere. It all started in this McLean neighborhood about 4.30 Monday morning. Tree fell at the end of the street and blocked the entire street, took down one power pole, which then took down another, which took down the third. The power has been out here for hours. Bill Kilberg, a storm veteran, has a generator. We've been here, you know, about 40 years, so it's... Uh, it happens a lot. But his new neighbor didn't know what to expect. I'm in there with my wife, our two twin newborns, and my two-year-old daughter. And um, uh, what's keeping us all warm and toasty in there is we've got a wood-burning stove. Power crews all over the area have been hard at work trying to get the lights back on. After a winter storm that first brought snow, then rain, then the ice that brought down trees. Dominion says his crews had a plan in place. There are about 50 man teams that travel throughout the state uh, to wherever the storm is. Most homes should have power restored by Tuesday morning, just in time for round two. It's that new front that has the neighborhood worried. That's a concern. At some point, I run out of fuel for my generator. I was hoping to, <laughs> to get power up just in time before the new storm comes in. We're told those crews will continue working through the night as long as they can do so safely. For now, we're live in McLean. I'm Ross Plater, ABC 7 News.